Dear Emma, I'm writing this letter to reassure you about the situation in the Western Front. I heard the rumors about the unstoppable advance of the Americans, but let me tell you something, it is not true. I've been assigned to a mission in a small village in the French countryside, and yesterday I gave a lesson to those Yankees that they will not forget. The intelligence told us that at least three squads of marines were preparing an ambush in the abandoned ranch. An ambush doesn't really work when the enemy is aware of it, and in fact my squad of panzer grenadiers was ready, MP44 at hands. Our duty was to escort an elite force of grenadiers, but we were not alone. Knowing our enemy's intention, the HQ decided to send an MG42 team as well as a professional sniper. We were told to wait behind the wood and intervene at the first shots. The Grenadier squad advanced and took cover behind the carcass of a tank. No more than a few seconds after, something like a dozen marines opened fire against the elite force. My hands trembled, but I took a deep breath and came out of the wood, followed by my three fellow comrades. I didn't aim, I just shot, and I killed. I killed one of those bastards. At that point, the Americans fled, and my squad advanced to make sure that the area had been freed from the enemy. We took cover behind a water well and a tractor, and we waited for new orders. After a while, the colonel ordered us to hide behind a bush and keep our eyes open. Mine were wide open, but I saw not even a shadow of the enemy. I heard the sounds of the battle, though. The explosions coming from far away. And then I spotted the smoke, and the explosions ceased. That countryside that I always hated started to look peaceful and maybe even beautiful. All of a sudden we had shots coming from different positions. Two enemy squads were approaching, though they both looked insecure and even terrorized. I'm the squad leader, and in a matter of seconds I had to decide where to go and who to kill. With one eye, I noticed that one of the enemy squad was pulling a 75mm pack howitzer, a mobile piece of artillery. I realized that we had to neutralize them, so I signaled to my comrades to run towards the enemy squad guarding the howitzer. We climbed over a fence and we killed them all. Actually, two of them ran away, but it didn't matter because we had stolen a useful weapon from the enemy. We pushed it towards our base, but we had forgotten that another enemy squad was waiting for us. We had them shooting us on the back, but we didn't turn around. Instead, we kept pushing the pack howitzer until I felt it. A bullet in my left shoulder. I didn't stop though. Oh no, I kept pushing, thinking about what the Führer said, that we must defend our nation at any cost. When our reinforcers arrived, the enemy stopped firing on us, and we all reached the village alive. Later, I heard that the elite squad of grenadiers slaughtered those damn Yankees. Now I'm at the infirmary, but I made it clear, I want to be back on the battlefield, even tomorrow. I want to serve my country, so that we can win this war and I will be back to you. Yours, Oscar. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more letters from the front.